Southern Virginia, Justin Fairfax. Thank you, David. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. I am so deeply honored to be here with you today. I'm grateful for this outpouring of love and support and community uh, at a time in our nation and in our commonwealth and in our county uh, where we have seen the forces of darkness descend. Uh, we have seen people who seek to divide us, uh, who wanna take us down a road uh, where we don't reflect the values that we know are at the heart of who we are. And this day uh, is one that is so deep and personal uh, for so many of us, uh, including myself. As David mentioned, we live uh, not too far from here. Uh, our children actually play right here on this very court uh, where I got to coach them and coach them very poorly uh, in basketball. Uh, but this has been a community that has been so open and welcoming to all. Uh, it reflects the best of who we are. Uh, not just here in Fairfax County and not just in Virginia, but in this nation. And so I want to thank you for the response uh, that you have given uh, to this vile act of hate that we condemn. Uh, it was cowardly. Uh, and what we know is that any time someone engages in an act of hate that strikes at the heart of our communities, uh, there are two things that happen. One is a statement and one is a question. The statement is about who that person is. And the fact that someone had to come on the cover of night to cover their face, to do something to vandalize, to harm, to send a signal of terror, of hate, and of fear, tells us exactly who that person is. But the second thing that happened is the question. And that question is about who we are as a community. And today, whoever painted those swastikas, if you look out, today is your answer. You see the faith represented of every community here in Fairfax. You see people from every walk of life, uh, no matter the color of your skin, what God you pray to, what zip code you live in, who you love. You are represented here today in support of the Jewish Community Center of Northern Virginia. And so just like we have been tested throughout our history, and certainly in recent times, we have come together as a community of faith and of hope and of love to say that what you do to one of us, you do to all of us. Uh, and I had a feeling today as I walked in and saw all these beautiful faces uh, and the rainbow that represents our democracy uh, that took me back to when we rushed out to Dulles Airport during the Muslim travel ban. Uh, and it looked just like this room. Uh, every time we've been called to look inside of ourselves and to say what are our deepest values and how are they reflected, we have responded together. Uh, and so today, uh, although something very dark brought us together, uh, I am proud that it's something very bright that is going to lead us out of the doors here. Uh, as Dr. King said, darkness cannot drive out darkness, only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate, only love can do that. You represent the love and the hope of our community. You have sent a signal, a powerful message, not just in Fairfax, not just in Virginia to our 8 million fellow Virginians, but truly a signal that's being heard around the world. Uh, and I stand in solidarity with you. Uh, I know that everyone who has come here today represents a community of their own who also will ensure that anytime something like this happens, we come together to support one another. Uh, and I wanna just share with you uh, a story of hope that's rooted right here in Fairfax County that goes to the heart of who we are when we adhere to our highest values. Uh, I shared this story recently, as many of you know, um, during our inauguration, uh, we learned that week uh, that I came by my last name honestly. Uh, they discovered in the old Fairfax County Courthouse a manumission document that had freed my great, great, great grandfather, Simon Fairfax from slavery right here in Fairfax County, Virginia, 220 years ago on June the 5th, 1798. He was freed by Thomas Fairfax, the ninth Lord Fairfax. Uh, and my father got a copy of that document, the original, which still exists right now, uh, two days before our inauguration. Uh, he gave a copy of it to me 20 minutes before I walked out the steps of the Capitol to take the oath of office as the 41st Lieutenant Governor of Virginia. 
Uh, we know who we are when we adhere to our highest values and to our greatest ideas. Those values are reflected right here in the Jewish Community Center of Northern Virginia. And I promise you, we will win this fight together. God bless you all. Thank you very much.